But if you did see it, I have a lot of design mistakes and problems. And I, I said that the Cessna 172, um, this time around, it was mostly just getting rid of mistakes okay. and fix. I think now it works. Ah. Okay. And just fixing things. So, yeah. Um, I think, yeah, does it work? And the last person that said that said that, toggle timestamps, uh, five minutes ago. So, yeah. Oh, I hope you all, I hope you all came back. Um, maybe you just use subtitles the next time. Is that, is, does it work that way? Hmm, no. <laughs> but, but you, you can see a lot of the design process was just, uh, fixing mistakes I like added this curve because I didn't want the square to have different tensions at different points along the curve. But yeah, it was like that. I'll have to edit out the sound loss. But what I was saying before uh, I was, I guess, there we go. But I was right here and I was talking about how this right here is an Arduino Pro Micro and it has one extra configuration. So I'm going to use this just because they're because I've never used them before and I want to show you that Move Flight can do more than just the Megas. It can also do the Pro Micros. Okay, good, good. Um, also, how does your school end at 2? Uh, nah, I won't say. Um, basically. Fridays are a little bit weird. I should probably put them a little later so like actual students can watch this too. And I think most of the people are at work. So I don't know why I'd schedule them at this time. But yeah, I'm going to start using different Arduinos if I can, if I want to. But uh, yeah, I also like this Cessna keychain. That's pretty epic. Pew. Oh, yeah. And I also updated this version right here so that it doesn't pop these out anymore. So it's kind of convenient. And I finally super glued these together so you can't take this apart. Uh, whenever I drop this, and it does happen, it's happened like 20 times. Whenever I drop this, the, it would kind of fall apart. So I guess that's good, good. I'm gonna open Discord just to see how many people pinged me to say my audio wasn't on. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, not very many, that's good. <laughs> um, so yeah. Oh, brilliant. I'm going to go parametric on you. Um, okay. Which one, which screen do we want? Maybe this one. This one's a good screen. I'm going to just, if I could have a face, that would be great. But, uh, it's, it's, it's not, not necessarily a have to have video capture device. Fantastic. Is it this one? Ooh, very nice. This one. Ooh, and then, yeah, just go into my corner of shame and, uh, oh, not that much. And here we are. Actually, you can have more of my microphone if you want it. But let's open Fusion 360. We're in Fusion. Do, do, do. There's all. Uh oh. There we go. I do have my microphone on. Whew. Whenever I change scenes and I don't have the microphone in the new scene, it doesn't work out so well. But someone was talking to me about how I made the thingy parametric. And uh, I want to show you how I did that. I want to see, show you over here in my section folder. I kind of did away a little bit. I've kind of been easing out of my organization structure with like numbers for everything. And, and that's kind of honestly just laziness, but I know it's going to bite me later because I'll be like, okay, there are like four versions of this switch and like, which one, where, why? And we'll be like, oh no. And it, it's super hard. It logistically makes more sense for me to have the switch panel like this, have a code on it. And that code can also be the same code in my sales. So I could say, uh, oh, just 
we need to restock 1-1-101 or whatever, and you can just restock that one. This would be like 2-2-3-101 two dash, um, two dash, like something. But I'm going to open it before <laughs> y'all click off. Oh, we're, uh, there we go. I clicked something. But let me get back to the comments. It doesn't actual, it actually doesn't do that. <laughs> yeah. There we go. So it's open over here. And I bragged about this in the latest video. And I really like it. But I try to make everything parametric. So you can change your switch diameter. Uh, let's say your switch diameter is 0.25 inches. Or you can even make your yours metric. So let's say it's a... Say you have a super tiny, like, surface-mounted switch for, that's precision manufactured, and it has a 3 millimeter diameter. You can click Update, and when you go to your switch panel right here, and isolate it. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, here we go. Circuit breaker diameter. That's what I uh, adjusted. I said two different things. But you'll see that they're updated. So you can see those are pretty cool. I love that fact. So, yeah. Um, oh, welcome, Adam Kerr and Austin. I don't think I said hello, but hello. Um, and the Aviation Guy 16, howdy. What I was thinking was we, we might actually want to work on some of the sections, but after I do the thing that I titled the video for. So we're going to be, we talked about the Cessna switch panel. It went fantastic. I think there's not much more to say about it than the YouTube video, but I can say right now, everything is up to date. Um, I just, like, five minutes before this video, this live stream put in the latest touches to the Thingiverse links. So, Thingiverse.com. Do I even show up? Oh, man. Maybe now. Oh. Yay! Here we go. <laughs> it's Thingiverse, I've noticed, is super, like... It's not like Google. Yeah. But I have all of my things over here, and I really I wanted to show you them because I have some kind of impressive things. Over here, I have in this switch panel, I have another file that's the PDF. It is the drawing PDF. So I'm going to just download this one. And uh, you'll see right here, it shows you kind of how it goes together. And then it has this second page that's a template. So you can see like a few views of it just to see how it kind of goes. I probably should have done a back one like this. But uh, it's good enough, and I would have filled this out if I was a fancy engineer. But I, I guess I'm not. Oh, well. What I want to do right now, just really quickly, is to make one of these for the circuit breaker. Because we, uh, the circuit breaker is self-explanatory. Literally, my drawing would just be this. Like, come on. If, if you can't, like, screw something on them, then pop the little... The, yeah. If It's like... The ultimate Lego challenges when you, you know, when you like try to build the entire Lego set without the picture. But uh, this one is pathetic. So if you can't figure this one out, you're on your own. But w let's make the um, the assembly diagram for this one because it might be a little more confusing. Let's have a few views. Um, so let's go into section two. It's in section two because um, this assembly. I wanted to share between the G1000 and the analog. If it's in 2A, it's only for analog, and if it's in 2G, it's only for Garmin, or G1000. Um, here we go. So here's the key assembly. I don't even have to open it. I can just right-click it and new drawing from design. And let's see what's happening. So it's going to have me place it down. Fantastic. We can actually make it one-to-one -one scale. One to one, good, good. It is showing me some components that I really don't like. I don't want this easy print component. 
what this easy print component is, is it's everything, if I move it real quick, it's everything just rotated to a, oh, come on, just, just, uh, yeah, it's everything just rotated so that it prints as it should on the print bed, but then when I went to export it, it, nothing even happened, it just, like, the, the SDLs auto-rotated themselves to the place I didn't want. So I was like, oh, no. So yeah, this is what happened. This was my brilliant idea, idea to then have something like this and select this part. When I export it, save it as a mesh. I save it as an STL binary in millimeters. Let's just send it to Kira to see what it would look like. And it would look like, here's its orientation now, it would look like this, like, <laughs> wait, what? Oh, it's because I exported everything, but I think maybe I need to try re-exporting it or something, but if I save it as a mesh millimeter, oh, it might work. So we got to figure this out. Oh, no. Let's see. Let's look at the chat real quick. Uh, from Jesper Nielsen. Hi, Cap. It's not much, but here's a little for the Cessna. Thank you so much uh, for your generous support, Jesper. It's it's always so like, so like heartwarming to see everyone. I guess really like support the project, and I really want to make the simulators and everything open as much as I can. And I just want to say thank you. I will. I promise not to spend it on like more circuit breakers because where where is it? <laughs> because the circuit breakers that would easily bankrupt me. But these things, I don't, I think we could do better. I think we can make these simulated. So yeah. Thank you so much for supporting on the super chat, and uh, I really hope you have a good day. Let's see R for rotate. But you notice when I exported it this time. I had to rotate it myself. So I'm, I'm gonna look at something. This is a theory real quick. If I save as a mesh right here with everything, with this basically isolated, I might've just solved my problem. And this is, and I'm not saving it and opening it. I'm just doing it directly to Kira because it's faster to do. There we go. You guys helped me solve it. Um, so. If I export it as an isolated component right here, it respects the orientation. So I'm going to write that on my squawk list. Where is it? So I have a squawk list right here of everything I need to do besides my math homework. That's on a different list. And it would be crazy if I had the pencil. But here we go. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. Yeah. The reason I the reason I do the easy print thingy or I want to start doing it is because it's so annoying when you I don't know. This is just like something super super stupid, but it's so annoying when you like open up the um Thingiverse project file and then you grab all of the STLs from like let's pull it from the Thingiverse and so you grab the start key all of the files over here. And then you like drag them to your print bed and you're like, let's get crack a lacking. And then you're like, oh, oh my gosh, what is, um, um, da, 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 you're like, is that 90? You can also select them, select the face, select the face. That is a way that works. I don't like it personally because you select this, select this, select this. It's quicker than probably rotating it, but I think rotating you just like drag once. And as long as you get it on 90, you're good. I don't know. That's kind of just a little... It's like a pet peeve of mine when you have to, like, reorient it all. But my easy print thing, if it's all easy printed, instead of doing all of that, you would just drag them in, and then it would all be set up to go, and you could just slice it out and print it out. It's pretty cool. 
the marvels of technology right now because look at this right now if i uncover it it costs um here you go you can say it you it costs 30 cents in filament 32 cents in filament to do this entire key assembly and there's even an extra part somewhere for some reason let me delete that real quick da, da, da. this should be in the this is in the wrong folder no, 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 no. There we go. But this part should be... But, like, if you were to buy an ignition switch, this would be so much more expensive because with this ignition switch, you have to pay for... Um, with the ignition switch, I think it's about $38 for an aircraft ignition switch, which is pretty much a lot of money. But if you print something like this... Let's see how it prints. That's funny. I wonder how this washer will print. But if you print it like this, however, this isn't sliced, so it's not a good model. But if you print this, then it only costs 32 cents plus the rotary switch, which is like $3. So we're up to two thirty, And then the screws, which is like another like 10 cents if you already have some. So we're up to two forty, three forty, And then also the key which is like $6, so it's like $10. It's a third of the price. I'll actually grab it for you. Um. So this is the filament I print with. We'll go over to this scene. It's this, right now I'm using camo because I know I'll never use the whole roll of camo. So I use camo as a pro prototyping filament because I printed a ton of stuff for the um, authenticate controls because I that's a side project I'm not going to document it I just like to do it but this is the blue filament and uh, it's just PLA yeah Whew, that's good what was I going to do oh yeah drawing uh, I'll undo everything here and it looks good but the drawing over here it's kind of annoying because it doesn't it doesn't respect everything you've shown. Let me see something, actually. Huh. Create drawing. Okay, so this might be a better way to do it. We're going to delete this. Don't save. I hope I didn't break everything. Probably did. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, you can't see it. I'm. I swear, I'm not just taking up time. It's just not loading. Um. Oh, there we go. Don't save. So f instead of this method of madness, where I go new drawing from design, I'm instead going to go new drawing inside of the design, and then visible only. I think that should work better. And then we'll have it on a size A paper. I'm sorry it's not metric. Um, I don't want to. <laughs> but we're going to do that. I could use a template if I wanted to. That might be a lot better. But uh, I'll just put this in. Scale 1 to 1. I could even do it 2 to 1 if I want to. But I like it 1 to 1. So this, this view will actually be an isometric view. Maybe like this probably. Mm. 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 this yeah there we go and it's going to be shaded okay great great so we'll put it up in the corner we'll have another base view this one can be oh man oh, I wish I could duplicate this repeat base view oh man so I really wish you could just duplicate it <laughs> can I? Is there a way to? Uh, oh, you can. <laughs> what? You can just select this, go base view, and you can make as many duplicates as you can. It's just counterintuitive. So, here's a Fusion 360 tip that I didn't know before today. What's that acronym? F360TT. 
I D K T something like that. Uh, if you want to have a TV segment, use better acronyms. But right here, you can just select whatever component you want. If you, uh oh, close. You can select this this component right here. Right click it. You have to select the base view and then click base view. So that would save so much time. There's no like intuitive copy and paste feature. Because <laughs> this just, um, that's just what I copied to my clipboard before. So it's kind of funny. Uh, da, da, da. But then when you, super niche, I don't know why it's, it, it both feels super user friendly and then at the same time, not at all. So I'm like, what? But you click this, copy it from here and then go base view. But now I can make my fancy isometric design. I actually want these to be shaded as well, probably, just cause I'm an, I'm, I'm a like, I'm an engineer that has like, that likes everything pretty. A projected view. So if I select this, I can do all of these weird views that probably no one will ever use. Yeah, seems legit. Actually, let's use some of the... I do agree that no one will ever use this view. This view, I think, could be helpful. This view could be helpful. And there we go. I'm sure all of the experienced engineers are looking at me and they're like, gosh, what is this kid doing? And I'm just like, it, it looks pretty. <laughs> so yeah, now let's move everything around so that the engineers don't yell at me. And uh, let's put this somewhere, this somewhere. And I might have to section things out on a different drawing to make it better. Is it like illegal if it doesn't? Can I, oh, I thought I could unlink it. Um. Hmm. Does it have to be like all fancy? But <laughs> how about I just make a million copies and put them all over each other and then just publish this. Ready? Boom. You know what? I'll put this on a t-shirt and you can buy it. That's my money making scheme. <laughs> no. Um, there we go. I got to control Z this. Can I not undo? Oh, phew. <laughs> that was a scare. Let's see. Um, just came back. What what part of Fusion 360 is this? This is the drawing workspace. So basically the easiest way to get into it is to uh, select your model. And there's it's not up here or anything, which is kind of weird. It's not, it's up here actually. I thought it wasn't, but you can make a new drawing from design or from an animation. From an animation is super cool. And uh, yeah, let's get back to the chat. Um, that's a cool view. Okay, Adam Care. Oh, Adam Care made a donation. Here you go, bud. Uh, your Moby Flight, Moby Flight videos helped me get my first Switch panel going. Keep it up. Ah, oh, that's awesome to hear. I really like to see to hear other people's stories when they're making Moby Flight stuff and really getting getting started. Uh, that's so awesome. Thank you so much for your support uh, to the Cessna 172 project and. Yeah, I hope you have a fantabulous day. That is a cool view. I think so too. Um, were you talking about like this one or like like this one? I okay, we won't. <laughs> I'm kidding. But uh, over here we have our key assembly. What was the one little part we just stuffed up there? Oh, oh no, no. Where is it? Spacer. Ah, there it is. So now I'm going to try something on a different drawing because this view is actually useless, but uh, we can do this. That's awesome. Um, and uh, yeah. Okay. I think this looks pretty okay. This just kind of general generally gives you an overview to see how it goes a little bit. But uh Oh, um, so this is what a this is a cool view. Uh, yep, the, bro, Trevor be making that on paper. Yes, sir. 
think, uh, let's see. Oh, the drawing. It's pretty useful. <laughs> uh, yeah. Have a good day, Adam. Let's see. Drawing, put it on a t-shirt. You know what? I did save it. So, if anyone wants the exclusive Captain Bob t-shirt, they can have this beauty for, uh, 1995. That's just, like, a cool year, I'm pretty sure. What songs came out in 1995? I'm sure this is making everyone feel old, so I'll stop talking about it. Why can't I just, like, scroll gently? There we go. If anyone wants this on a t-shirt, let me know in the comments. I, I, I'm an influencer. That's, that's my excuse. So we're going to do a quick ad over here, and then we're going to make the assembly sketch. So this one won't be stupid. That's the hopes. But we're going to make our base view. This one, we ha will have to do all the stuff to select it from. Wait. <gasps> we don't. Instead of creating a new, I can just reference this key assembly over here. And it will just reference everything that's visible. That is awesome. Man, where have I been all of these years? Insane. But we have a base view right here. We pulled it in. Um, using this drawing reference um, over here instead of create new. Fantastic. We're actually going to make this one-to-one -one just because it's so cute. You can print out this paper and like lay it down on its side and it'll be great. We're going to make this a side view from its right and close this. We, mm, I might want an exploded view or something, but now I can make little bubbles, right? Uh, let's see, table, dimensions, dimensions. Someone help me make the bubbles. <laughs> um, leader note, leader note. Uh, I think it's this one. Type automatic, I think so. Okay, shoot. Leader note, hold on, bend. That's crazy. Okay, he did it with a fancy table somewhere, and I want the bubbles. Uh, I was listening to a Brad Tallis video, and I don't know how to make the bubbles. Uh, shagger, bomb, bomb, bombastic, bombastic, bombastic. I don't know. Shaggy. Oh my. I. I'm gonna listen to that later but not right now or I'll get um, sued for music so let's excellent we're hey put that back so we have this little thing over here that's good 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 now I'm just want to make these where can I find my fancy table gotcha here is the fancy table we're gonna put it in the corner yes this is what I wanted uh, let's this is not what I, okay. And uh, we're gonna click this table wherever the heck the table comes from. Let me edit you, please. Do I just zoom in like this and click it a bunch? <sighs> this is why we can't have nice things. Ah, there we go. So I don't need the material because everything is ABS plastic. Might need description, maybe. Part name would be helpful later. Part number, er, pfft. part name, quantity, uh, wait, what? Quantity, it's all one, so quantity doesn't matter. Um, item, yes, d -d 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 part number, mass, that'd be kind of fun. Hey, who wants 0.437 ounce masses? Um, pfft, da, 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 da. Yeah, you can also shift them around if you want. So, like, one is more important than the other. Don't know why that is, but uh, it just can happen sometimes. Let's make it an all level. Maybe that was a mistake. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to make an all level table. We're just going to say that doesn't exist. No, come back. Just a first level table. So now I'll move this over to the side. This is actually the best diagram I've ever made in my life. So, yeah. I gotta make better pop-up thingies. So this is the two, 
This is the structure. Um, number four is the rotary. Can I like edit this at all? Is that too much to ask? Perhaps. Oh, I can't edit it. That's that's unfortunate. Can I though? <laughs> Maybe if I just click enough places, it will let me. Um. Okay. If anyone knows how to edit a table, that'd be great. Or like, not that'd be great. It's like the meme. If if you could just be quiet for one moment, that'd be great. But if uh, that's that's not what I was going for. But if anyone knows how to edit these Fusion 360 tables, uh, let me know and I'll fix it. But now we have little flags that just show you where everything is. I'm gonna edit these so that they look good. <clears throat> I'm going to put this one, let's put six over here because there's a little tiny washer. Where'd my mouse go? It does that sometimes. It likes to hide from me. I think it's because it, it it's suspicious. It's acting kind of weird sometimes, so I might have to investigate. But now I have these little drop, little bubbles. Don't bubbles make you so happy? I mean, bubbles are cool. Uh, so... Where's part number one, or like item one? Sample panel, I guess, is what it would be somewhere. Yeah, I think that is. Can't it start at one then? Dang it. Okay. What did I just do? <laughs> Let's undo that. There we go. So we're all good to go here. This is revision A. Revision A. Sorry, if it's not capitalized, you'll all yell at me. Let's make sure it's revision A here too. And I'm not going to approve it because then I would just get yelled at or something. So here's the key assembly drawing and let's export it. Export a PDF, all sheets, and download it into my GitHub folder with Thingiverse files. Why do I keep a GitHub folder for Thingiverse files? Uh, it's just a backup mostly, but I can save things into their Thingiverse files places, and then you don't. I don't have to like have them all on my desktop basically. So switch panel release, key assembly drawing. Key assembly is in the start key. <laughs> Some days are not my day for like thinking and stuff like that. I don't think today is one of those. But now we can just drag it into there. I'm considering dragging my awful um, image of all of the switches in, but uh, let's go with quick access real quick. Here we go, good PDF. And now we have the drawing, so we're all good to go. Now if you save and view, you can actually click one of the thing files and it shows you is it not saving again? <laughs> okay, maybe it doesn't save. It's been quirky a little. There we go. Maybe we just need to refresh. I'm sure it'll show up someday, but the idea is that anyone can sh can use this version thingy. Oh, why does this one have flags though? Oh, shoot. Uh oh, <laughs> I didn't mean for this one to have flag things too. So uh, then when I go back, wait, does it make an infinite loop? Okay, I think I'll have to fix this <laughs> before it. I'll have to release a new one. So, but this is my way of doing it. Switch, drawing, re release. Why isn't release, like, why is release a thing? You don't release something. You just, you would lease it because it's your first time doing that. I don't, I guess. So, so I, I re, I leased my switch panel. And then when I make adjustments, I release it. 
Oh my gosh. English is so weird. Why does it have to be this way? Okie dokie. Next up, we have something exciting, something unusual, something unreal. I don't, I didn't actually transfer the, the pictures in time, but we have public speaking. So this is another topic on the public speaking thingy that you are all here to see because the live stream says public speaking jitters and a project update. So this is the first day of the first month of October, I guess. Where was I going with this? I was going to open something. Ah, it was my email and show you a picture. Here we go. The picture should load theoretically. Very nice. We are making good time. So here is me last Saturday. So this is like six days ago within a few hours. But this is a kind of grainy picture, but you can see my public speaking and you can see Elmo there. He's the mascot for all of the Flight Sim Expo speeches. But so if you haven't already, you can in 60 days, the Flight Sim Expo talks will all be released to the Flight Sim Expo YouTube channel. And you can go and watch me over there make a fool of myself. No, not that wasn't the what I was looking for. Uh, I think I did. I'm actually pretty glad I did it because it was a great experience. I think I did really well and it's fun to do. And you can see my nice gray sh uh, shoes. That's pretty fun. So yeah, uh, make sure to look out for that. It will be posted around like 30, 60 days from now-ish. So it'll be posted around December like 5th, I think. Give or take a little bit. So be on the lookout for that. If you don't want to wait the 60 days, I know I hardly could. Um, I experienced it, so I don't know if I have to wait. You can also go on, not Whova, Journey. It's the conferencing. It's where all the videos are for Flight Sim Expo. You can buy your Flight Sim Expo virtual passes still, and you can get access to all of the online things. Let me see if I have... Uh... Very nice. Oh, I have that. Let's see. So... This was really funny. I'm going to show all of this in a video. You can see the fear on my face. It's starting to discolor my ears. But uh, I was pretty scared for it because it's like a bunch of people into flight simulation. And I was afraid that some of them might be cooler than me. They were, but uh, it was it's a really good experience. I'm glad I did it. I don't really have a lot of words to say about it. Um... I'm glad it's over. <laughs> now I have time to do my homework and um, fl without Flight Sim Expo, so that's good. Uh, anything else about it? Um, people asked really good questions, as, and there was a lot of online comments that were good. So yeah, that was mostly it. Let's see. If I don't look at the comments for a while, weird things happen, so let me just make sure. Do, do, do. Okay, if anyone has any questions or comments, let me know and I'll get those to you. It's been a good, oh, sorry. It's been a good 45 minutes though. Good, good. Key assembly, good, good. Very nice, very nice. I think that's about it with our fusioning. I might try to do another live stream where I CAD next, next time or even work on a panel, but I think I think it's a pretty good pretty good time to be alive and simulating. <laughs> I don't even know what I say the last like few minutes of these live streams. I'm going to open up my question and answer thing that I sent on the last newsletter episode. If you haven't signed up for my newsletter, it's on my website at captainbobsim.com. Oh, that was it. I was about to say captainbobsim.com.org, but that wouldn't make sense. And if you want to support the Cessna 172 project, like um, 
the totally generous people have done on this live stream. Or if you want to go on Patreon, you can support the you can support the Cessna 172 project on Patreon. Uh, there's a PayPal donate link in the description, and you can also do it via uh, the super chat. Hopefully, you all enjoyed the latest Cessna 172 switch panel video. I really enjoyed making it, and I think that's about it. Let's answer a random question. Is MobiFlight compatible with DCS World? It is not unless you assign it to a key press um, and then assign the key press to the in to the thing in the game. So it's it basically be easier to use a keyboard and solder to the keyboard, but you can use it in DCS if you use it as a key press. Something else something else that's happening is that MobiFlight is doing some like new things with their joysticks. So let's see new do do if you go over to MobiFlight modules, I think somehow joysticks now show up in the configured modules or something. And you can program all sorts of Moby flighty things to them. Yeah. So the next video will be about the Cessna 172. No, it will. It'll be about the Flight Sim Expo and me talking about it, kind of giving a look into what it is. And I hope you like that one. Let's see. Do, do, do. Looks good. Good, good, good. Awesome. As a reminder, live streams now are every month, so if you want to tune into the next one, it will be November 5th, the 5th of November, unless like a giant pumpkin falls on my roof. But I look forward to seeing you there, and have a fantabulous rest of your Cessna 170 Friday. I need to stop making acronyms. But yeah. We, oh! Before you leave, we have a Discord in the link in the description below. We usually chat over there for like another half hour. So or sometimes it's not that long. But make sure to check out the Discord and I'll be in there talking to people. And they will hopefully even respond this time. Because um, the live streams don't really get responses in the form of audio. But yeah. Do -do -do. Still here, just listening in. Oh, awesome. Uh, it's great to see you, Adam, Yummy, and who else do we have on? Jepson. It was great seeing you all. Oh, bye, Michael.